Shalom, Shalom, Kahalayim, Yahweh Barashim, Yahweh Shah Barashim, Rakakwadash. All glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh Barashim, Yahweh Shah Barashim, Rakakwadash. The brother Tahawa. And um, coming back to you with another look. What's up? I had double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone for teaching this truth time and time again, showing us to be men, men of the Lord. The water, Yahweh Barashim, Yahweh Shah Barashim, Rakakwadash. The elders teach us. We keep learning, we're going to continue to push forth and going because this is a time, just as it's the time of our deliverance is coming close. The hopeful, the hopeful fulfillment of prophecy, which the Lord has put the spirit on our elder, our pop, to hard to put forth. So look at this. California reparations panel approves payment up to $1.2 in every to every black resident. So I'm in California. But I'm, as my family still believes that they're, uh, because uh, we're from like Louisiana and all that stuff. And all, I'm the lightest in my family, but brothers say that I am a gad at. So, uh, so it wouldn't even matter to me, but look, the California Reparations Task Force formally recommended that the state offers payments up to 1.2 million to every qualified black resident. So now, you know, this might help like Jake to figure out who they really are and all that stuff. Cause you already know it's going to be stipulations and then you don't have to have probably to see him or it might not because look what has happened before. If you didn't know, this is this is it's nothing new under the sun, as the Lord Yahweh Barashim Yahshua has said. In Ecclesi uh, Ecclesiastes, this is Exodus chapter three, verse twenty-one. Now, I'm gonna start at twenty. And I will stretch out my smite Egypt with all the wonders which I would do in the midst thereof. So since the, to their elders, to the brothers, which is power is even being more manifested and being more balanced of the, the prophets of earth. All of them. Which I will smite my one will do the judgment. That's what the Lord does because even if the leader is not looking at what the, these people are doing. The, these low-level Edomites knowing that, yeah, we fucked up. So they're voting these in the Congress and all that stuff. Because, you know, the they're proud as fuck. They're never going to other ones just might not do something. And we'll give this people favor in the sight of Egypt, which is talking about us, these Egyptians, and the modern-day Egyptian is the Babylonians. You know, because they have us in bondage and they know the wickedness they have put forth. But the Lord said uh, he was going to use them as uh, a whooping tool and put us in chattel safely. But now they understand that they fucked up. That they touched the apple of his eye. The apple of his eye, which is, now there's no doubt about it that the so-called black, so-called Latinos and so-called Native Americans, which have really suffered great tremendous hell in this place or the people of Yahweh Bashim Yashar. And what did the Lord say? Of his Bear with me. I'm going to come back to this. This is Zechariah chapter 2, verse 8. For thus said the Lord, Lord of hosts, after the glory have he sent unto me unto the nations which spoiled you, which is uh, Babylon the Great has spoiled the children of Israel more than anyone, because the Edomites are just have a perpetual hatred. So we're going to get to that too, you fucking demons. But uh, has spoiled you, for he that touches you touches the apple of my eye, and for behold, I will shake my hand Onto them, you know, when you shake someone's hand, you're like rebuking them, telling them they're wrong, and they shall be spoiled, and shall be a spoil to their servants, and ye shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. You know, 
the way on the back. Get back. So I uh, left off 3 verse 21. And I will give the people favor in the sight of the Egyptian. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. So this, you know, you never know. This can be it. A little. But, you know, they're going to vomit it up anyway, and we're going to take the world. But it's just seeing that what these people are willing to do, uh, they thinking. Because now, like, everyone's knowing that who's the children of Israel. And they're trying to see that these Egypt's were, uh, plates are coming back from Egypt before. And then maybe, like, it's all going. Nothing's new under the sun. But every woman shall borrow her neighbor and her son join her house, jewels, and and silver and jewels of gold and raiment, and ye shall put upon ye sons and upon ye daughters, and ye shall spoil Egypt. So this might be the thing that uh, 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 freaking uh, puts economic dis, uh, disaster on e uh, on uh, Babylon the Great. And then after that, that's what they're going to see and then blame and try to judge. And be like, oh man, it's your guys' fault, you know? That's why these elites know what they're doing. So this is, I think it's like, oh, look, they're the people, that, that's what they did before. And then they destroyed Egypt. So they're trying to do that to Babylon the Great. You never know. This is Job chapter 20, verse 10. And his children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall destroy their goods. And his bones are full of sin of his youth, of everything they have been done since they're from their conception. Of their sins and how they got this money, how they did it. So they're going to seek to pay, like, oh, well, reparations. I know we said 40 acres and a mule. Well, here goes this. This is the uh, economic value of that now. 1.2 million. You know, niggas are seeing, like, oh my God. Hell yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to. But I uh, haven't got it really into the article. We're going to finish it. I'm going to come back to it. You know, the spirit of spirit. The task force held a public meeting in Oakland, California on Saturday and voted a final second recommendation. The legislator to nine members of the panel called the state to offer black residents a formal apology in addition to a payment. I'm sorry that we literally uh, made our wealth on the backs of your people. The Latinos, because they have uh, the so-called Mexicans, they have really created cowboying and farming in this land. And then the, the Gadites, which is, uh, have really showed how to like live off the land and everything that we, all these things that have really, and then you already know the so-called blacks and so-called, uh, uh, so-called blacks, West Indies and, uh, the Haitians that they literally have like worked in hardcore chattel savory building what you call sugar, tobacco, cotton, or anything you guys can have. Just like an American gods. That, that we build the back of, from people that have freedom. Off our backs. Off all the children of Israel's backs. And apology and reparations are only are not only morally justified, but they have potential to address long-standing racial despotation and equality Republican Barbara Lee, and it was always the fucking black woman. So that's the spirit because you know the woman shall act. <laughs> so it, 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 we're not in spiritual Egypt. So we're going to go back to this. So Job chapter twenty verse eleven, and they and their bones are full of the sin of their youth, which they should lie down within the dust. You know, sit on the. That's hilarious. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit on the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Who is that? Virgin daughter. And they call them virgins because they have never been touched through like military conquest in this land. Only uh, They had a war here, obviously. Spanish and American war books was always the, I'm talking about when the U.S. was concepted and it became a, a full country. They haven't been conquered or uh, not conquered, even been attacked. And that Babylon, if you guys say, oh, what about Pearl Harbor? That was a false fact. It was fake. They just wanted to find a reason to attack Japan because of how Congress is made. And there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. 
you know, because they always put these witchcraft, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind it up, uncover and make thy make bare thy leg and uncover the thigh and pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. So everyone knows what you have guys did. What his shameful spoon shall be upon the name that you guys didn't build this country. You build it on the backs of the so-called black, so-called Latinos and so-called Native Americans. And what's going to happen to you is this. But this is what is prophecy. This is what the Lord said. Because now they was like, it was our forefathers. It was a blah, 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 whatever the fuck, you know. This, but they're demons, so this is whatever. Bear with me. The fuck? Watch it, you put any other scripture. Go up. See? See? You know, Satan. Esau don't like <laughs> getting, uh, well, you were uncovered. Your secret faces have been, you have been made naked. Demons. This is, uh, I'm a, Ecclesiastes, Sirach, chapter 41, verse 5. And the children of sinners, they are abominable children. They are conversation in the dwellings of the ungodly, and the inheritance of his children shall perish. They said, and they, you know, they say they think their generations will continue forever, but no. I think they can just give this little payment, like maybe they leave, and we won't fight them like hell Pharaoh. No, the Lord have heart in your king's heart. Because it don't matter what you fucking demons think. It's what the elite think. And they have a perpetual hatred towards our people. And that's why they're going to be judged. The Lord is going to have a continuous war against Amalek forever. And they shall have a conversation with the island of Ungali. And the inheritors of Shema shall perish. And their prosperous shall have a perpetual reproach. Because you have perpetual and you have love blood. We don't get that after. But a perpetual is continuous forever. And the children will complain of an ungodly father. It's like, they did it, but we're going to pay for it. Like, they did it, but I wasn't my father. Well, ye are their father. That's what the Lord said. And because they shall be it, because they shall be reproached for his sake. Because they was like, look at you guys haven't gained that. That's the only reason why it is uh, you, they understand what the Esau Edom is, really is. The Lord gave you this kingdom. You have did nothing. You're no, nothing special about you. You're actually the basis of men. And that, that's because the Lord is showing that he rules in the kingdom of men. Let's get him. This is... Daniel chapter 4 verse 17 in the matter by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the Holy One to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whom whosoever he will and set up over the basis of men. Look at it in the NLT. For this has been decreed by the messengers which is the decree was given by the most high and it commanded by the Holy One. So that everyone knows the most high rule over the kingdoms of the world. And he give it to anyone he chooses. Even to the lowest, lowliest, I mean not lowly, but lowest of people. Lowest basis. The people that are completely, utterly, like, ain't shit. Nothings. Nobodies. That's what he gave it to you. And then you think that you can just complain and give us a couple hundred dollars? Well, you don't give it anyway. You don't vomit that shit up. Pertaining to jo uh, Job chapter 20. We didn't get this because, you know, my work. You know, I can't. Once you start getting on Esau, you just continue to go. But let's just get it to the points that I had. This is Ezekiel chapter 35. Verse 5, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel, which is the so-called black, so-called Latinos. And this is talking about Esau, Edom. You have did this. I have laid the, their cities waste and shall be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. That's what the Lord said. You did this. He said, all right, so I'm going to fuck you up. That's what the Lord said. That's been, you did this, so I'm going to fuck you up. Touch the apple of his eye. Do you think he's going to get away with it and everything? Everything comes with fruition. Consequences have situations. Like, consequences have, you know, 
uh, when you do something, it has consequences, basically. Because thou have the perpetual hatred, has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, when we're at, when we're at bottom, just as, you know, Amalek, when, you know, the first people that came against us when we were going to our promised land, they were going for our weak and all that stuff. And when we were at our weakest, you guys took advantage of it and loved it and made it. And it made it seem that you guys were in uh, superior. Was your inferior basis to man in the time of our calamity, in the time that we were having just hell because we have sinned against the Lord and you guys took advantage of it and build a whole kingdom off of it, a whole society and philosophy off of it, and the time of their iniquity had in. Now, if obviously you see that you think you guys, the children of the Lord, uh, the children of the Lord, get it? I think Isaiah, they said, um. Surely uh, the cup wasn't for, has drunk out of the cup. Surely you shall drink of the cup, you fucking demons. You're going into slavery. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, and thou shalt have, since thou hast not hated blood, even shall blood pursue thee. So you're drinking all that, you know, the adreno. We, we can finish, you know, we don't want the ad word and pick it up and all that stuff, killing the children, doing all this stuff. Well, since you guys love it, you guys about to definitely get it, a lot of it. When Jacob trouble and when the Lord puts it, when you guys are in chat, um, when you're in slavery, you're going to see a lot of that. You're going to see a lot of that. Because the Lord. All these nations don't get it, but let's get it to the particular one. And this is why the Lord said, so he, he let you do this. He said, he's going to let you build it up. So this is Amos chapter 1, verse 11. I'm going to end off on this. And thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, who is that the so-called white man pertaining to the biblical prophecy and Malachi 1 and 4, the border of wickedness, which is these are the wicked and then biblical prophecy from uh like Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, or what you guys did in a uh, race it, race it, uh, saw the 37th chapter, or 137th chapter, as you guys continue to do it. And who is going to be in power in time prophecy? Esau, Edom. And who's in power? The so-called white man. For four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with a sword and did cast off all pity. You guys didn't have no pity when you guys were on top. So when now people may have made you bear, hey, here goes one point. Well, the economy is fucking crash, banking crash, and now you're going to give us Fuck you. And his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. But I will send fire on Timon, which is those, uh, those are the Germans, uh, which devour the place, but this is just pertaining to all Edomites, and shall devour the palace of Basra, which is the border, I mean, the capital city in uh, the old time Edom. And thus said the Lord, three trans... And it was good, and that's amen. So with that, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh, Shemesh, 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 Shem